Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about something really really cool. It's called the Wheel of Awareness. This is a tool that I got from the work of Dr. Dan Siegel, who is a world-renowned psychiatrist. Dr. Siegel wrote a book a couple of years ago called Mindsight, The New Science of Personal Transformation. So we're very fond of Dr. Siegel around here with all his incredible work on personal transformation. Before I talk about what the wheel actually is, I just want to give a run through of some of the benefits from, from practicing this on a regular basis. Improved emotional intelligence, reduced stress levels, improved mental well-being, improved emotional well-being, improved access to one's intuition, improved use of empathy, improved interpersonal skills, uh, better resilience, and a multitude of other benefits. It is truly a transformational tool and that's why we're talking about it. So let's get into the Wheel of Awareness. First I want to give a bit of an overview of, of the different parts of the wheel and what they represent. So I want you to imagine the wheel of let's say a car and at the center of that wheel, the hub, the hub represents awareness awareness itself. We're all aware beings. We have the capacity to be aware of different things in our experience. So the center of this wheel represents our awareness. The rim of the wheel represents everything that we can be aware of. All of the different experiences, thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, all of these different things are represented by the rim. And uh, let's think of a spoke now. So from the hub of awareness, from our aware self, we can send a spoke to the rim when we want to consciously focus on something in our experience, something in our awareness, whether it's, let's say, the feeling of my feet on the floor right now. I'm going to send from my awareness a spoke to the feeling of my feet. Now I am leaving my awareness be filled with that sensation. So I'm sending the, the spoke from the hub to the rim. I hope you get the, the picture that the overall the, the wheel of awareness is a metaphor for the integration of our consciousness. So it's a metaphor for the integration of all the different aspects of being a human that we can be aware of. And I think this will become clearer as we go along explaining how to actually practice the wheel of awareness. It's quite like mindfulness, so if you already do mindfulness, this can help you to take it to the next level. If you don't do mindfulness yet, this is a fantastic introduction. To start off practicing the, the Wheel of Awareness, I would recommend sitting down in a comfortable chair with your back straight and your feet on the floor. Become aware of the sensation of your breath. Cool air coming in, warm air going out. So already you're placing your awareness, the hub of your wheel, on your breathing. You're sending a spoke to the breathing. Now, the wheel is divided into four sections, four quadrants. In the first quadrant, we have the five senses. So, taste, touch, sight, hearing, and smell. So in the first part of your practice, you can focus on each one of those. So taste, just become aware of what you're tasting. Might just be saliva or something that you ate a while ago. Next, you can move on to sound. What sounds am I experiencing right now? And just be present with that sound. Just allow the sound to fill your hub of awareness. Next, you can move on to touch. What, 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 what am I touching right now? Are my hands touching each other? Can I feel the skin on skin? Are my clothes touching me? Can I be aware of that? Just allow the sensation of touch to come into your hub of awareness. Next, you can focus on smell. What do you smell? And just allow smell to fill the hub of awareness. And, and so on with, with the five senses. So that's, that's that section of the wheel. Then you can move on to the next section, which is the, the internal experience of our bodies. So essentially our, our muscles, our blood, our bones, everything that is internal. And a good way to do this 
aspect of the wheel, which is, which is actually called our sixth sense in science. That's what they call this, and it's also referred to as introception. Introception is our capacity to be aware of our internal sensations. And a good way to practice this part of the wheel of awareness is to do a full body scan. So start off, what sensations am I aware of in my head? Usually when I do that part, I become aware that my brain is actually quite tired and I can actually start to feel my own brain, which is very new to me. Well, it's, it's new in the past few years since I've started doing all of this mindfulness stuff, but it actually feels quite healing. It's, it's almost like my brain wants, wants me to feel that. And if I wasn't doing this mindfulness practice, I wouldn't even be aware of that. And I'd probably just be constantly distracted by information and stimulation of all kinds. So next in the body scan, we can become aware of the feelings in our face, the feelings of the, the muscles in our face, our tension in the forehead and allow it to fall out. Next, we can move on to the shoulders, the arms, the, the hips, the thighs, the calves, the feet, just becoming aware of the internal sensations. Then we can move on to our torsos and feel our organs, feel our hearts and start to just access the, the wisdom of the body. And that's another reason why this is such a fantastic practice is it is a window into the wisdom of our bodies, intuition and everything else that, that we can learn from paying attention to our internal sensations. So let's just move swiftly along to the third segment of the wheel, which is mental activities. So what I mean by mental activities are thoughts, feelings, memories, beliefs, images, intentions, plans. So what are we planning in a few days? These things can pass through our mind and they can pass through our feeling bodies. So this is what we refer to as the seventh sense. And when we become aware of these, these mental activities, we just allow them to pass by. It's almost like as the hub of awareness, we are the sky. And we're just letting these mental activities pass by like clouds. We're aware of them and they just float by. Whether it's a thought, a feeling, a memory or whatever, we're just aware of it and we let it float by. Very calming, very, very calming doing this. And we start to realize that we are not any of those things. We are not our thoughts. We are not our feelings. We are not the sensations. At the deepest level of our beings, we are actually awareness. So, moving along to the fourth segment of the wheel, which is interconnectedness. And to, to practice this, this part of the wheel of awareness, it's really just about starting to get a sense of our feelings of connection with people. So we can start with our family members, just feeling a sense of our, our connection to our family members. Then we can move on to our friends, just feeling that, that connection, oh, connected with friends. Then we can feel the sense of connection with our community and the people we interact with, whether it's at work or at school or whatever. Then we can move nationally, our feeling of connection with the people of our nation. Then we can move globally, our feeling of connection with all of the people in the world. Then we can move on to our feeling of connection with all types of life forms in the world. Then we can even move on to our connection with, with planet Earth itself. And to take this practice even further, we can start to send heartfelt feelings of, of compassion for all life forms on Earth. A kind of heartfelt sense of wanting all beings to be free from suffering and to, and to flourish and to be well. And then we can direct that towards ourselves. We can have a heartfelt sense of compassion for ourselves and for us to be free from suffering and to be well and to flourish. And research shows that practicing this, as well as all of the other aspects I've talked about, practicing this, this sense of compassion for others and ourselves improves our well-being as well. And it improves our resilience and lowers our stress and just optimizes our overall functioning and helps us to grow as a person in all sorts of ways. So those are the four main segments of the wheel. Another thing as you start to get better at this practice is you can become aware of awareness itself. So it's almost like 
the hub, our sense of awareness, is sending a spoke and then coming back to itself, bending the spoke around. So the hub is becoming aware of itself. And when we become aware of awareness itself, we achieve a very, very, very peaceful state of being, a very centered feeling, a very grounded, relaxed, calm, present, clear, open, spacious feeling. And the more we do this practice, the more we are cultivating that aspect of our beings. The more we are developing that place within us that is centered and that is present and that is grounded and conscious and spacious and aware. So I really cannot emphasize enough the power of doing this type of practice on a regular basis. The, the, the spiritual traditions and contemplative practices such as Buddhism have been talking about the, the power of this type of practice for hundreds if not thousands of years. And it's only in recent times that scientific studies are now starting to support the absolute multitude of benefits from doing this. It, it really, for me personally, it allows me to enter into a very surrendered state, not attached and just present, aware and calm and deeply well. And it can also help us with emotional healing because I think the more that we commit to this side of our development, it's likely that we are going to become aware of, of unprocessed feelings that we have stored in the past, from the past. And by having this, this pristine awareness developed within us, by just allowing those feelings to be, placing our awareness on them, we are able to process them. The healing power of awareness cannot be emphasized enough either. So again, fantastic transformational tool. If you have gotten something from this video and if you apply the tool in your own life, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below about your experiences. If you're already doing something like this, I'd love to hear from you as well. All thoughts, experiences, comments, feelings are welcome below. That is it for this video, my friends. I hope it resonated. Hope you got some guidance and inspiration from it. Have an other awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.